This metal can calm a nuclear reactor. Meet hafnium. Sounds obscure, right? If a reactor starts getting too excited, hafnium steps in and begins absorbing neutrons. Okay, story time. Back in 1923, two scientists, Dirk Koster and George de Heavesy, were hunting for a missing element Bohr predicted with his new atomic model. They found it in Copenhagen and named it hafnia. That's why it's called hafnium. Symbol HF, atomic number 72. Here's the twist hafnium hides inside zirconium. They're like twins, almost identical, so separating them's a nightmare. But the difference matters. Zirconium barely notices neutrons. Perfect for fuel cladding. Hafnium gulps neutrons. Perfect for control rods. Put the wrong twin in the wrong place and it's not good. Uses that touch your life? Your computer chips? Hafnium oxide HFO2 replaced silicon dioxide as the high K gate material around 2007. That let transistors shrink without leaking. Basically, more speed, less heat, more battery life, jet engines and rockets. Hafnium strengthens super alloys for extreme temps. HFC carbides are among the highest melting materials. Cutting metal with lightning plasma torches use hafnium tips for brutal arcs. Sparks and science ignition systems, research ceramics, specialty optics, fun facts to flex. It's rare, usually a tiny hitchhiker with zirconium and mineral sands. Polished hafnium looks chill, but Fine powder can be dangerously reactive. It showed up late to the party, not because it wasn't there, but because it was great at hiding. From Bohr's chalkboard to your laptop's brain and nuclear control rooms, Hafnium is the quiet MVP. If you learn something new, tap like. Want more bite-sized science that sticks? Smash subscribe and ring the bell. See you in the next one.